On today's show, we have Ruth Langsford, Colleen Noland, Linda Noland, and Janet Street Porter, with guest Gail Porter talking about uh, getting her life back on track, and Anita Rani, um, who secretly recorded the Loose Women Eating. Linda on the show, on the panel today, she's doing really well, the cancer um, is still in, still in her hip, and it hasn't spread, thank God. Um, the treatment is going really well um, and working, which is brilliant news. It's stable and treatable, which is the main thing. Um, so the first thing they was talking about was the Donald Trump and uh, the, whatever his name is, Kai Jun, whatever his name, <laughs> um, about them making history and all this. Um, and they was asking, is this the summit for of the century? And Janet said that they that they both live in a fantasy world and doesn't think it'll make any difference. Um Linda says she hopes they can sort that out their hair. Um but I don't really I'm not really into politics so I didn't really didn't really just want to say much about that topic. Um, also, making peace with an enemy. Ruth asked Colleen if she, if she if she could sit in a room with Kim Woodburn, would she make peace? <laughs> and I'm glad she said no way, because I wouldn't either. <laughs> Um, and then, who else was it we had? Um, next one, should toy guns be banned? Because there is a picture of, uh, Prince George with a toy gun in the, all over the news. Which I don't know why, because people was, was kicking up a fuss about it. Um, and 32% of the viewers said yes to banning um, gun, uh, toy guns, and 68% said no, which is really good. Um, I don't think they should be banned. What I think should be banned is BB guns. Um, I agree with Colleen. If if they were still playing with their toy guns at 14, then I'd be a bit worried as well. Um, and are we too soft with our kids? Um, a lot of parents, I find... Are. Um, the amount of kids that like run around in supermarkets have no control over them. Um, I agree with Janet, the lady that made her two kids sit on the naughty step or floor in a supermarket should be given a medal. I would do exactly the same thing, even though a lot of people have shamed her and all this, um, but each to their own. People that wouldn't wouldn't do that need to learn something from her. Um, so Anita went on. Anita Rani, Rainy, um, and she put a. Well, last time she was on, she put a buffet on, um, and then she secretly filmed them whilst they was picking at it. It's funny. Colleen was there putting stuff on her plate, and then Ruth put something on her plate and said it's one of her five a day. <laughs> her, um, that's funny. And so, obviously, they were Anita's on a secret mission to get rid of diabetes. Um, there's a program about it tomorrow night called The Fast Fix Diabetes, it's on ITV at nine o'clock. Um, I I got a feeling they like change people's diets and exercise plans and that and try to save lives. 
And Colleen is uh, doing it. And Janet, uh, I think they said it's uh, an, like an eight week program. Um, and Janet don't think it will last three weeks with Colleen. I have more faith in her. I reckon she can do it. Um, but yeah, I don't think people realise that diabetes can be reversed. Um, people think once you've got it, you, you, you can get rid of it, but you can. Um, the next guest was Gail Porter. Um, she no longer wants to be defined by her boldness and decided uh, to wear a wig. Um, which is obviously a big decision for her after 13 years. Um, she says she doesn't, she doesn't want it all the time. She only wants it like whether when she like goes at a full meal or something like that. Um, and the daughter told her not to wear it all the time either, which is which is nice of her. Um, and that the NHS wigs are awful, so maybe that's something the government's got to have a look at because obviously, especially for cancer patients that lose their hair. It's a massive deal for them. Um, but it was... Uh, they were showing a clip of... Um, Gail getting her head... Um, head measured. For the wig. And they was like drawing on it. And then they put clean... Um, yeah, clean film over it. Um, and then... Jordan on it again. So she was, she was going back on loose swimming. Um, in six weeks' time, with a new wig, so that'd be great to see. It's fascinating to see how they how they make the wigs. Um, and then the next one was: Is it unhealthy to um, talk to people that isn't alive? Um, I think it. I think it. It's healthy. It can be comforting to know they're there um obviously linda's husband who who, who who's uh passed now she keeps she always talks to her uh, talks to him um and she keeps his ashes in her bedroom and will always be there she said she won't move him at all or anything um ruth colleen and janet don't believe in it i don't talk to people but i do believe in like uh, mediums and all that. Um, and then, last but not least, Linda said on the last show she was ready to date. No developments made yet. Um, and Colleen said that she um, made a profile and everything for her. And so she, um, she's looking for someone between 55 and 65. Good sense of humour. Um, someone that's not cocky, um, powerful and strong, not controlling, and someone with a pulse. Um, so if you know anyone that fits in that category, go over to the Loose Women website and there'll be more details on there.